Hi, this is Ushendra from Ushendra's Engineering Tutorials. A very important discussion is going on uh, a topics from important topics from measurements. Uh, now it's uh, something about Maxwell's bridge. You know, I mean, if what happens with the Maxwell's bridge and where do we find the application of Maxwell's bridge? Okay. In my previous video, I have discussed something about uh, a basic bridge, a basic DC bridge. And I have also derived the expression for a bridge under balanced condition. What happens? Uh, how to obtain the balanced condition of a bridge and what happens actually after the bridge is balanced. Uh, this was my previous picture with R1, R2, R3. I left this one intentionally. I'll have to insert something over here regarding Maxwell's bridge. Maxwell's bridge comes under uh, the classification of AC bridges, which is intended to measure unknown capacitance and inductance and uh, especially moreover it's uh, measuring unknown uh, inductance using Maxwell's bridge right and a small modification this one we have done it in my previous video like R1, R2, R3 we have this one and uh, we have also component we have a galvanometer we had a galvanometer here the same thing galvanometer which shows um, the indication at which the current becomes zero at this loop indicating the balanced condition of the bridge and if if i see that it's a maxwell bridge the source should be uh, something else it was uh, a battery in the previous discussion now we have a ac source now we have uh, ac because it's a ac bridge i'll tell you uh, uh, let me go on so unknown inductance is measured using maxwell's bridge that unknown inductance is connected across this arm and so i left this vacant intentionally right so this is the uh, place where I connect where we connect the unknown inductance in the Maxwell's bridge and with uh, it's a coil made up of a metal it's a coil it will be having a internal resistance that is indicated with the series resistance this one okay it's a connection this um, now this is unknown inductance LX and uh, its internal resistance RX unknown internal resistance RX these parameters has to be evaluated using Maxwell's bridge right and not only this, something else comes into the picture. Let it me let me write over here R1, and uh, this is a variable. As I've told you in my previous video, it's a variable resistance. And in this uh, circuit, I am introducing another capacitor like this, parallel to this one. I'm sorry, it's not clear. I know it's a. We have a capacitor here. We have a capacitor parallel to this resistance R1, given the name C1. This is the picture for Maxwell's bridge. All right and uh, once again it's a variable it's a variable resistance and as we go on change the value at some point at some point the bridge adjust adjust itself in such a way that uh, the voltage across this point let it be like uh, ab va and vb at a point va will be equal to vb uh, when the voltage drop on either side of the galvanometer are equal no current flows through the galvanometer and that condition with the while we go on change the value of r this happens while we go on change the value of r this happens and uh, that condition the bridge is balanced and then we start the analysis right we need to obtain an expression for this lx and rx in terms of all these these are all known r1 is known c1 r2 r3 are known and this unknown this is the lx which we have to find out inductance lx which is in henry's okay lx should be evaluated rx should be evaluated let's see if what happens under balanced condition the product of opposite impedances are equal i have already proved this under balanced condition product of opposite impedances uh, no problem with r2 and r3 but this has to be evaluated and this has to be evaluated why because we have capacitor in parallel with the uh, resistor right so that can be like uh, r1 and we have to write the impedance of the capacitor is parallel to x c1 you might have seen in your previous grades x is nothing but 1 upon j omega c right so going ahead uh, this can be written as r1 into x c1 by r1 plus x c1 for how to this is the formula for evaluating the parallel combination which is equal to uh, as it is r1 as it is a r sorry r1 into xc1 it's uh, 1 upon j omega c1 the reactance of a capacitor in terms of a frequency right and in the denominator we have r1 plus 1 by j omega c1 guys uh, what we have is here this in the numerator we'll be having it's a multiplication so r1 by 
j omega c1 in the denominator and i mean over in the numerator in the denominator this has to be simplified this one and uh, here like multiplying this one j omega c1 as it is and cross multiplying this into this it's 1 and this into this it's uh, plus j omega c1 r1 right and this is a simplification for this one and uh, you can clearly see j omega c1 this j omega c1 and this j omega c1 gets cancelled and uh, this combination for uh, r1 parallel to x c1 we have r1 upon 1 plus j omega c1 r1 guys please don't uh, be careful while you write uh, the values of capacitance and resistors we, for r1 it should be r1 or else the entire uh, value of uh, this unknown it will go away right so this is one the parallel combination of uh, this arm and how to write this one these uh, lx and rx are in series this one lx and rx are series and uh, even this will be x l plus rx right which can be written as xl for the impedance of inductor this can be written as j omega l and x because of unknown right plus r x and uh, this is r2 r3 no nothing much simplification about this one so this one now this is the imp total impedance of this one this arm and this is the total impedance of this arm so under balanced condition the product of opposite impedances are equal how to write that one this one so here uh, this arm into this arm the impedance of this arm into the impedance of this arm which is equal to this arm into this arm so this into this it's simply it's simply r2 into r3 that doesn't matter uh, write down this into this impedance of this arm into impedance of this arm uh, this one j omega lx plus rx into this comes down r1 upon 1 plus j omega c1 r1 this is what uh, uh, the this is the equation for under balanced condition product of opposite impedances are equal this is what i mean right and uh, 1 upon j 1 by 1 plus j omega c1 it's in the denominator and multiplying the entire term i mean dividing the entire term i'll take this one that's it okay so don't get confused this which is dividing over in the lhs is taken down to multiply over that side so this will be equal to um, so i'll erase this one we don't need this any this side anymore it's multiplied with 1 plus j omega c1 r1 here this is what i've done right we had j1 plus j omega c1 r1 dividing the entire upper equation so it's dividing so that's why it's uh, multiplying and one more thing is uh, what we have is here we need to multiply this we need to multiply each and everything so th this into this j omega l x r1 plus r1 r x this into this plus this into this which is equal to and on the other hand guys i'm changing this one this color watch carefully this into this gives rise to r2 r3 plus this into this again so that is uh, um, j omega c1 r1 r2 r3 hope it's correct cross check now we are almost uh, done with the proof right so after this one comparing the imaginary and real terms on either side of the equation right uh, comparing the imaginary we have j omega these two this will be this will be equal to this one comparing the imaginary terms in the sense j omega lx r1 will be equal to j omega c1 r1 r2 r3 these two being equal right and on the other half what we have is this being the real terms that will be equal r1 rx the unknown resistance to be measured equal to r2 r3 this is what and uh, here 
on either side j omega j omega gets cancelled j omega we don't have that anymore j omega and j omega gets cancelled and something else also gets cancelled it's a r1 r1 we have this side r1 we have that side so finally this is what the, my expression our expression for unknown inductance lx which is equal to lx unknown inductance lx is equal to uh, c1 r2 r3 this is my expression for measuring unknown inductance lx and on the other hand we need to evaluate uh, rx rx will be given as rx is equal to r2 r3 by r1 this is my expression for evaluating the unknown resistance internal resistance of the inductor right in this bridge all this one all these factors all the value of this resistance and capacitors are known this is the only unknown and that can be evaluated using this one where did we start the derivation from considering uh, at a some point the balance is obtained and product of opposite impedances are equal then we have carried out over here right hope you understand make a note please a small numerical for better understanding in the exam point of view if what you may have I like what question you may have in the exam point of view right so going ahead it will be given it will be given that for uh, for supposing let r2 uh, in a maxwell's bridge r2 equal to 5.1 kilo ohm okay and uh, it will be given in the question r3 equal to equal to 100 kilo ohm and uh, capacitance c equal to 0 0.01 microfarads right and it's a variable and it will be said that uh, while tuning uh, the balance is obtained at when r1 is equal to 470 kilo ohm i'm writing it again uh, it will be given r2 r2 equal to 5.1 kilo ohm it all these will be given r3 r3 equal to sorry once again r3 equal to 100 kilo ohm this will be the question and c1 equal to 0 0.01 microfarads and uh, uh, r1 it's it was varying and the balance was obtained at uh, r1 equal to what is that 470 kilo ohm right and it's asked to the same bridge it's asked to the it's asked to get the values of uh, unknown inductance and resistances so from this very equation lx is given as lx is equal to c1 what is c1 0 0.01 microfarads into R2, R2 is 5.1 kilo ohm into R3, R3 is, uh, what's R3 here, 100 kilo ohm, right, and uh, it's clearly seen, LX will be, it's a micro, it's a kilo, and it's a kilo, we have 10 raised to minus 6 for this one, and 10 raised to 3, and 10 raised to 3, that will be added, and when multiplying 10 raised to minus 6, and 10 raised to 6 that gets cancelled and we don't have that anymore and another simplification is this 0 0.1 this 0 0.1 and uh, this gets cancelled because uh, 100 this will be 1 upon 100 that gets cancelled and finally we are left with 5.5.1 we don't have any micro or milli so it's straight away henry's this is the unknown inductance for these values and when the balance is obtained at r1 equal to 470 kilo ohm all right and going ahead rx can be evaluated for rx is equal to r2 r3 r2 r3 what do we have the value of r2 r3 5.1 kilo ohm into r3 100 kilo ohm upon r1 how much it's given 470 kilo 470 kilo ohm so uh, 1 kilo 1 kilo gets cancelled we have a kilo ohm left over uh, simplifying this one 5.1 into 100 upon 470 because it should be 1.09 kilo ohm. yeah check it uh, if i'm not wrong yeah this is my expression this is my value of unknown uh, resistance and this not over you have to show the picture like it's in series lx and uh, rx lx is equal to 55.1 henry and uh, rx is equal to 1.09 kilo ohm this is what my answer this is my unknown inductance and capacitance this will be asked in the exam point of view hope you understand uh, please support me this is all for today's video thank you so much